Hello and welcome to this extremely crucial Bitcoin technical analysis update that I have for you today where we are going to be talking you through the massive move that we are seeing right now to the downside. I need to be covering the most important support here locally on the Bitcoin chart, which really, really needs to hold if bulls are going to show any strength in this market. I will give you that support for free today. I'm also going to be giving you the massive resistance that we need to be aware of now. This support has flipped to resistance. So I am going to cover a very crucial support and a very crucial resistance. And these are the levels exactly that I am trading from. In today's video, I also want to cover the exact trading position that I am in right now and how I'm looking to take this over the next few weeks. So I hope that you really enjoy this video. As I will say, block out all distractions. Give me your full focus for the next 15, 20 minutes and you will thank yourself by the end of this video. You really will. There is so much important information for you to take away and you're also going to be learning, empowering and educating yourself to move forwards and improve yourself not only as a person but as a trader let's go with the bitcoin technical analysis and i hope that you really enjoy this video So we are currently getting a very nice bounce underway on the Bitcoin chart, a current 2% wick to the downside. We have obviously came to a major level of support here, and we currently have four important pivots of this chart, and that's pivot one, two, three, and four. The prices of these pivots are coming in. Pivot number one, write this down, $59,518. Pivot number two, $58,400. Pivot number three, that's coming in at $59,920 and pivot number four, that's coming in at $56,814. Four very important pivots that we are going to be extrapolating, you know, extrapolating our targets from, you know, from these pivots, we get our targets. Again, we are trading the highest probability trades only. We are not in this game to take substandard gambling trades. We want to take the very best trades only. And how do we do this? We're going to use a mixture of Fibonacci, we can be starting to look at Elliott Waves, order flow, channels, pitchforks. We're going to be bringing this together to give us our highest probability trades. So one thing that we obviously really like to do right now is our, our CC Fibonacci retracements. And that's really simply what we can do here is pivot number three to pivot number four. That is going to be giving us our CC Fibonacci retracement, which is obviously currently resistance. That's coming in at around $58,800. So we could say that this is a pretty important resistance as, as we're speaking right now. I will be talking you through in this video the exact trade that I am in right now and how I will be managing this trade. I, I will talk you through that uh, towards the end of the video. But first of all, the most important resistance that we could be talking about right now is, is the CC Fibonacci. This is, a, for me, a very important level. That is coming in at $58,800. You want to write this down, okay? Obviously, we can see currently we're, we're bouncing off around fifty. What was the low? We're, we're basically bouncing off of $56,800, give or take 0.01%. We're bouncing off that support. And we can know that we obviously had our pivot one and pivot two to bring us up and take these highs. Thinking about this, what, what I'm going to do, uh, I thought about it and I want to embed yesterday's public YouTube video into this video. I want it embedded and integrated. That way you can see exactly my thought process when I was shorting this high and the levels and pivots that I was looking for next. I want that embedded into this video. It's a five minute video. So that will be integrated now. You can watch through that five minute update and then we'll be back to talk you through the current price action and my trade. So I'll see you in five minutes. Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be explaining the short position that I am literally entering right now. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, $59,500. This for me is such a key region of resistance. As you will know, if you've been following the channel for the past at least five days, I have not taken a single trade over the past five days because we've been impulse bull flag, 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 impulse. Everybody now looking for the bull flag for another continuation in price. As you know, I have not shorted here, did not short 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 here, but I am shorting right here on the Bitcoin chart. We are literally, literally, at the, at the high of the move over the past five days, we're up at the very high. You might be thinking, why this level? Why this? Why, why here, Daniel? Well, let me tell you, I have done my technical analysis. I have done my plan. I have remained very patient, very patient indeed for this. <laughs> let me tell you that. Very patient indeed. And now it's the simple case of making a plan 
and executing the plan. I'm not going to get scared. I'm not going to get fearful. I'm not going to be thinking, what if this? What if that? I'm going to think, this is my time for the short. I have been waiting five days to get into a short position. And for me, that is a very long time. But I just hadn't had any reason to do it thus far. And now I do. And now I do. So am I going to get scared? No. Uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to take my trade. I'm going to trade my plan. And I'm going to either make money or lose money. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You will hardly ever see anybody on YouTube upload their videos including myself for the public, you know, it's very rare for people to put themselves out like this, uh, because guess what, if this backfires, you know, you get massively trolled, but I'm going to do it, I'm going to upload the video right now, and you can leave a comment in the debt section down below, do you think this trade is going to win, or do you think I'm going to get absolutely wrecked, and we're going to head up higher, I will take you my first, I will tell you right now my first take profit, okay, and that is $58,400, $58,400, okay? A very key level for me in terms of support where I will take profit one. What does that mean? If we're going to be taking profit one here, eh, 58,400, I've already got it in the books. Well, I might need to raise it a little bit after this video because otherwise it might get too much interaction. But basically 58,400, what does this mean? It means if we do, you know, something like this and we come down and we hit 58,400 and then we pump to all new all-time highs. That is a winning trade. That is a winning trade for me. All I need is 58,400 to hit that first take profit and I'm guaranteed to win the trade. Okay, obviously the, the lower we go, the more money I make, but 58,400 is, is putting me into profit. And uh, so that's the key level of support for me. Obviously, if we just continue up from here, hey, I lose the trade. I lose some money. What do you think? In a comment down below, I'm intrigued to know. <laughs> Will you keep doing oh, Look at this, man. I'm intrigued to know. What do you think? Will I get wrecked on this short position? Will I get absolutely destroyed, wrecked? Uh, I'm a stupid guy for trying to short in a bull market. Or will I hit the first take profit? 58,400. It might raise that really slightly. But uh, 58,400, pretty key level of support for me. And uh, yeah. What you, what, I'm very intrigued to know what people think, whether I, <laughs> will I get wrecked or will I make money on this trade? Well, time will tell, no, time will tell. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? Um, <laughs> I've waited five days for this, literally five days, no shorts. And now I, now I take my short. Okay, obviously we could push slightly up here. I am aware that we have not taken all the highs yet. If you look at this, we could push up another from this level high, another 0.3% sort of thing to try and take the highs on a few more exchanges. But... I'm, I'm absolutely comfortable if we take the high one more time. But ultimately, yeah, I'm looking for this to come 58,400 region, you know, 58,400 region, uh, you know, liquidate all the people that are highly leveraged. We are seeing high leverage longs up here, high leverage longs. You see all these massive long positions open. Uh, you know, we're talking about 59 million, 45 million, 12 million, 15 million, 18 million, 17 million, 9.6 million, 8.9 million, just like massively high leverage long positions, like massive FOMO coming in. Am I going to do the FOMO? No, but I am going to take the short against the FOMO. Well, <laughs> hey, I love it. What can I say? I absolutely love this. Uh, I'm going to put this on YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm going to I'm not going to be able to render this because I want to get it uploaded quick. So I will have to put the disclaimer in right now because I don't have time to edit this. So obviously, of course, ladies and gentlemen, no financial advice. Do your own research. Important legal trade disclaimer here. Pause to understand. This is this is just an entertainment educational video only not telling you what to do with your money at any way. But hey, I know what I'm doing with my money and that that's a short. Um, obviously not telling anyone to follow me. You can just play along and sort of see and watch. Does it go exactly as predicted or do I get absolutely wrecked on the trade? Hey, time will tell as we're going to see what happens if we can get another swing for a pound of these highs. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this on YouTube now and just respect, respect Respect the technical analysis, what can I say? Cheers, everybody. As you just saw from that public YouTube video that I gave for free to everybody yesterday, I was shorting at $59,500. And I knew my first important key take profit one, which was $58,400. Just want to show you how, how accurate this was from the short taken here. We made our way down to $58,400 to the exact dollar. And we obviously got our bounce underway. Now, I do want to offer you value in this video. I do want to educate and empower you in this video. But I also want to say, what can we say? We put out the vote for people to let us know in the comment section. Again, this was in advance, the levels being given. Do you think we're going to win? Do you think we're going to lose? Well, thankfully, 99% of people thought we were going to win. And obviously, exactly as predicted, we won that trade. I mean, are you surprised? Hopefully not. Uh... <laughs>
Oh, uh, you know, it was funny. I had a lot of comments yesterday from people who say, wow, uh, you know, this is, you know, quote, unquote, you know, this is brave that you are, you know, releasing these talk type of videos. This never, ever, ever happens on YouTube. Even for myself, it's very rare that I'm going to do a public video, uh, you know, not giving it to the members like these levels in advance. But I decided, hey, I have full confidence in this trade and I want to protect some people for what's coming. And so I've done a public video and I made you aware of the levels. Well, a few hours later, formed that short. If you were ready and you were listening, we gave 58,400. And obviously, well, a few hours later, we, we come back into that support to the exact dollar and we get a bounce. You might be thinking to yourself now, and now I want to help you. Like, why was this? A, why, why is this an important first support? Well, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Very simply, we have a layer of old resistance. Okay, layer of, low, layer of old resistance. And we've got this back into support here. Okay, so resistance, resistance, resistance flips back into support. You do have a few other confluences here, but we can say this was our, our number one. So first touch of our SR level, very key in terms of taking profit. This was actually, personally, it was my third take profit. I was, I was scaling out of my short as we were coming down to this. But that was my third take profit for, but for everybody else. You know, that was an important take profit. And obviously from here, well, we, we, we obviously kind of know what happens now, but I'll talk you through the, the thought process. I was happily shorting literally as I was making a video, like filling a short position here. And we made our way down in the end to 58,400. Well, during that video clip that you just watched, which is obviously yesterday's update, I was recognizing we had not taken the highs on all exchanges. Remember how we took the high on Bybit, where I, tra I trade Bybit? We took the high on Bybit, hence why I was shorting. But I recognized we had not taken those highs on all exchanges. So when we were coming down, as we were heading downwards here, where we were, always, we were also, you know, creating bullish divergences. I was scaling out of my short and taking profits because I personally you know, felt it was likely that we were going to head back up again to take the highs across all of our major exchanges. OK, we see here the high when the highs were not taken across your biggest three exchanges. So upon recognizing we had not taken the highs there, but we obviously had on Bybit, I was more confident to scale out and take profits early, you know, quote unquote early on my short because I was recognizing it's likely we we're going to head back up and actually off of this, you know, off of the short I entered from here on that SR level. So resistance flipping back into support. I also simultaneously did take a long off of this. Why? Well, I just felt it was highly probable. This is an important support. It's played the probabilities. I did take a long here as well. Well, in the end, I think I'm very happy about that. We come down for a retest of our level. This is where you can take your highly leveraged longs uh, because the invalidation is very clear. Well, you make your way back up above to your, you know, your that resistance that was coming in at 59,000. 659 this is obviously if you, if you can't remember that was the, the level that i was you know you know putting on that that video yesterday and the icing on the cake was yes we finally took those highs across our biggest exchanges you see here how we never took the high well we did only on bybit well then you've now taken it on your biggest spot exchanges you're taking it was your biggest, you know, literally the highest volume, <laughs> um, you know, futures exchange. And finally, we had cleared up those highs. And well, we took the highs for the biggest bull trap. That was the best and biggest bull trap we could have got. What do you need to fill a lot of shorts? <laughs> you need a lot of longs. And I'm, I'm really sorry, and I don't mean to laugh at people, but anybody that traded that breakout, absolutely liquidated. You know, they're just definitely liquidated. If you're trading any of this. And I, I was looking at the volume yesterday and I was recognizing there is a lot of highly leveraged traders entering in this section. Uh, you know, lots of longs getting very bullish on the PayPal news. Well, what can we say? We got the ultimate bull trap. We really did as we took the highs where well, we had not cleared them up before. We managed to clear up those highs. You know, this is where you can fill your big shorts. Personally, I took a short and hey, the results are what we see here. And you know, this isn't magic. This is just trading the highest probability trades. We are literally just trading the highest probability trades. As you can see here, this is the four hour chart. I'm so, you know, Anybody that I would just arguably say anybody that's likely bought over the past two days has been stopped out now. You may be thinking, yeah, they're, they're, they've just been stopped out. They're long. So I think it's very likely people trail their stops, trail their stops, trail their stops. People would have trailed their stops to here. So here you can feel really big shorts. And what can you do here? You can feel really big longs. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, well, that, that really brings us over the past, you know, 24, 12 hours of price action. Pivot one, exactly as predicted. Pivot two, exactly as predicted. Pivot three, taking those highs, clearing them up, exactly as predicted. And now pivot four, you might be thinking, wow, there's no way you could predict this. 
<laughs> is that a challenge? <laughs> well, actually, we, you know, um, we, we, we will see. Uh, the pivot low here currently coming in at fifty. Six thousand eight hundred and fourteen dollars. I mean, you know, this, you know, unfortunately, you know, we have this key support here, fifty six thousand eight hundred. That's again, <laughs> obviously, we gave that key resistance in a members' uh, public update sheet on the. This would have been from the 29th. I gave this at the 29th at ten a.m. Uh, I gave that key resistance fifty nine thousand five hundred and thirty. Obviously, that was given on the 29th. One day later, over twenty four hours, actually, to be precise, uh, we hit the high fifty nine thousand five hundred and eighteen. So I obviously gave the uh, resistance within 0.01%. Hey, give myself a pat on the back. That was pretty brilliant if I say so myself. One day in advance, giving the high within 0.01%. We make our way down to our first major take profit given to everybody. We go our high and we come back down to take these lows. I've already taught you through the pretty big resistance that I'm aware of right now. And this is obviously our CC that is again coming in at $58,800. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I truly believe that if you are not in a trade right now, what, what's the best trade from here where we are sat at $58,000? I have to say there's no trade. I, I don't think you can long here. I don't think you can short here. Your best shorts were at the bull trap. Your best longs were, you know, taking these lows for a swing failure pattern. Do you have, do you, I mean, do you have a trade where you are right now? And personally, I would say no. And remember the fact that I was five days with no trade, five days taking no trades because I recognized I do not have a high probability trade. I'm not after a gamble. I'm not after a 50-50. I'm after a high probability trade. You had that here for a short. You ha arguably had this here for a long. It was a nice support. You definitely had it here for a short. You, you obviously, if you had it at the very lows, you had that for a nice long. But where you are right here, right now, $58,000, you do not have a high probability trade. You do not have a high probability long or a high probability short. This is no man's land. And you must have that self-control to admit to yourself, if you did not short here, you missed the short. If you did not long at the swing failure pattern towards the lows, you have missed the long. Sorry, so you missed the short up here, you missed the long. So if you are in no trade, you have to say to yourself, I have missed this trade. Let's wait Daniel waited five days for a good trade and look how amazingly well that played out. We are consistently making money and consistently able to show you these winning trades because we are patient and only taking the best, period. We do not settle for 50-50s. We are taking high probabilities. This is 80% plus. And, you know, these are the results that you can achieve from this. And honestly, Obviously, no financial advice. Do do whatever you want. You know, I'm not telling you what to do, of course. But all, all I'm saying is, personally, I would not take a trade here. I would not long or short here. Okay? So where are our key levels of resistance? Well, I've told you. We have that CC that's coming in at around 58,500. Okay. Uh, arguably, I might say that that's pushing up now to around 59,200 if you make it up. You know, 59. I remember yesterday we had the point of control that was coming in at 59,300, basically. So 59,300 probably going to be pretty key, you know? Uh, yeah, about 59,300. So, you know, that is key level. Obviously, we can also recognize that, you know, once again, that that support is now going to have flipped into resistance. So that's 58,400. So just write this down and remember it. I mean, it's pretty obvious the levels that I give you are, you know, are, are literally dictating the whole of the market. So why not write it down when I tell you them? 58,400, that was our key support. Hey, it's going to be a, a resistance now. The CC. Uh, that's going to be a, a, your next level. And then above you, you got 59,300. Uh, okay. You clear these levels of resistance. Yeah, I'm expecting, you know, plus $60,000 um, potentially pushing up towards all time highs. Okay. So that, that's the way that I would trade this level to level to the upside. If we break our key resistances, hey, let, let's see if we can push towards a new all time high. That's out of the scope of today's video. I'm giving you the levels. I did tell you, I'd, I'd tell you the trade that I am in right now. I do simultaneously hold the short still, but I have taken a long. So I am in a long trade right now. You'll be thinking, how, how have you got into a long? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it's called planning the trade and then trading the plan. I'm going to share with you the trading update that I then, you know, remember this one? The update that I gave uh, on the 29th at 10 a.m. Where 24 hours later, we hit our key resistance within 0.01%. Well, this is the trading update that I gave yesterday. Okay, yesterday, and that gave a key resistance, sorry, a key support. I'm going to hide the resistance because this isn't in play. I don't want to share this, to be honest with you, on the public. But a key support that I gave was $56,800. 
On the 30th, one day in advance, key support, $56,800. Ladies and gentlemen, you see this load that we put in here? 56,814. You know how I called the high within 0.01%? I've done it again. Called the low one day in advance of our key support of 0.01%. That's how I'm in it long. Because I recognize the best levels that I want to trade. What do I do when I recognize the best levels along with other people in the group? Hey, we take the best trades. You really, you guys really make us champions. Hey, I'm happy to see that. Happy to help. Now, this is obviously seen in a few percent of profits. So yeah, that's the way that I am trading this. I have taken a long from the swing failure pattern. How was I able to react? How was I able to not be scared? How was I able to not be fearful? I had it planned. I, I, I had I had all the steps. People didn't know they wanted a long up here before they even longed. I knew people were going to try and long up here. That's why I try and take my shorts. I knew people would be scared and fearful down here selling. That's why I want to take my longs. See how I'm playing this market? Everybody's really bullish. And I'm taking shorts. Everybody's really bearish and fearful. And I'm taking longs. And you cannot say this is hindsight. Because I gave you that video yesterday with almost my game plan. In advance. So it's, nobody can ever say these videos are, you know, this is a hindsight. Because I literally gave you that. In advance. My exact game plan. I wanted to see the highs taken one more time. We took the highs one more time. And we obviously play out now. Okay, so there we go. So I've given you my exact trade which is it is currently a long i simultaneously by the way do hold the short i have obviously taken profits at the low so the way my, my actual game plan right now is i've got the short running from the high i've got my long running from the low and we're going to start to see if we reclaim our key resistances okay that, that's what i'm going to do next so we can say that key support is obviously really really is fifty six thousand eight hundred dollars zero dot zero one percent what can i say we got that um you know that that's our key support and i'm giving you that for i'm giving you that and this isn't a level that i've made up today this is a level that i was giving to my group yesterday for everybody else in this public video i'm giving it to you today and that's fifty six thousand eight hundred dollars why is this a key support well this is our massive this is the area where you literally stopped out millions and millions and millions and millions of people this is where people trailed their longs this is where they were trading their stop losses to they thought they were safe hey welcome to uh chart champions you know you, people thought they were safe here they really did what do you do? You come down, you take those lows, you stop everybody out. You know, they're going to FOMO back in. You know, people that got stopped out here, maybe they're going to FOMO back into their longs here. You know, it's pretty funny. I am actually going to be taking my pro taking profits on my long as soon as this video ends. I will tell you that. This is the first thing I'm going to do. I will take take profit one on the long because I can see that we're already coming back up into this. So maybe we break through it, but I want to I want to take some profits. So I'm going to try and wrap this up. And yeah, so this was basically our key support. Why was this key support? Because this is where everybody had moved their stop losses to. What do we like to do as bigger traders? Take stops. Basically, so this is why this is such a key support. This is where everybody had their stop losses. So you take those stops, just like you could have argued that this is taking a stop losses, but this was, a, in my opinion, a different predetermined pivot. But this pivot low, really simply, this is where a lot of people got stopped out. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think that this is a very sensible place to take profit. In, in my opinion, on longs. Just as when I shorted here, this was a sensible place to take profit on the short. You can reload it here. I think this is a sensible profit to pay pre, pre, profits on a long. And you're either going to get the resistance support flip and flip this back into the support where you can compound or I suppose better, you know, another move to the downside, re, retest the lows. Um, <clears throat> I really hope that I've offered you a lot of value in this video. Of course, I have also, <laughs> I've also helped myself with the, in the end, it was inevitable that I would win the short. In the end, it was inevitable that my levels would, I mean, within 0.01%, what can we say? In the end, it was inevitable that I win again. In the end, it was inevitable that my ego got bigger. And people are, people are loving the memes. Um, they're, they're loving it. What can we say? We, we are pretty much calling these levels. And, uh, you know, the value that I wanted to give you in this public video is really, it's, it's the emphasis. It's the emphasis of having that plan, trading the plan, not getting greedy when everybody else is greedy. You know, this is the time to look for shorts. This is the time to look for longs. And it's, it is really a simple case of make that plan. Do not get scared. Do not get fearful. Just execute. People are going to laugh at you. I can guarantee people will laugh at you and say this trade is not going to work. But guess what? Who cares what anybody else says? It literally does not matter. 
The only thing that matters is the chart. The only thing that matters is your plan. The only thing that matters is your technical analysis. Because I received the, the laughing call. Oh, you're going to get wrecked on this short position. You know, and 24 hours later, it's exactly as predicted. You know, it doesn't matter about anything else. It doesn't even matter what I say. I'm going to say it doesn't even matter what I say. The only thing that should matter is you empowering yourself and learning, trading your own plans. At the end of the day, I can sit here and say my plan went well. Doesn't mean your plan necessarily went well. You had to trade your own plans, your own technicals. Why? Because you're trading with your own money and hopefully your own ideas. You know, you don't want to be a sheep. You actually want to empower yourself to ta start taking the trades that I'm taking. So you're not reliant on me, but you're able to recognize because all these levels were based off a of technical analysis. You know, you, you could have done the exact same plan without even knowing what I was doing. If you have learned and studied our content, you really could have made the exact same plan. So, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to help people in terms of teaching them everything they need to know. And obviously we teach everything on our website. So all of the stuff that I've gone through here is, is 100% is learned on the website. So it's like, then it just comes to the place of then being patient for the trades, only taking the best trades, block out the news, you know, PayPal news coming out yesterday. I mean, come on, um, you know, block out the news and trade the charts. That's how you're able to recognize the last four pivots of these charts extremely accurately. Uh, what can we say? It literally is. And, um, you know, the, the key levels that I want you to write down and remember, you know, I want to, re I really need you to remember these levels because, you know, they're, they're really important. You know, that CC, once again, coming in at around 58,500, we got that SR coming in 58,400. You got that key support 56,800. Obviously, I have still my short from the high, which I took profit at the lows. And then I, <laughs> I took a long when I was taking profit on my short, which I am going to uh, take profit as soon as I end this video because we're coming back up into my bit of a SR flip, you know. Uh, maybe we get a slight front run on this, possibly. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that's what I wanted to talk you through. Obviously, if we break our high, pivot pivot number three high, we can look towards, you know, 60K, you know, pushing all-time highs, I believe, 61K at the very least. If we break our pivot low, well, then naturally, we're going to look down towards our, our low, you know, our, our pivots further down the charts. Uh, that's out of the scope of today's video. I don't want to cover any lower levels or any higher levels. I just want to talk you through what's happening right now. And I want to talk you through that massively important low and the massively important resistance that we have today on the chart. Okay, that's all I want to do in today's video. So if you've wrote down those levels and you're prepared, you can empower yourself and you can make a trade. Like you, there's, there's no excuses. There's really no excuse. Um, so yeah, that, there we go. That's what I wanted to talk you through. And I want to end with this, this little segment here. Okay, I want to end talking you through this. Okay, let's hide that a second. Oh yeah, do you like the background? <laughs> how, epic, how epic is that background? Yeah. Um, anyway, I want to talk. I want to read this. And this video is going on a little bit longer than I thought, but hey, I might save this for another video. You can pause and read this if you really want to read it. Um, the video has gone on too long, and I hate doing long videos, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll save that for another video. It was just a little bit of insight of why you need to, you know, not worry about taking losses, not worry about failing, but just. Basically, keep keep on keep on track. Uh, I'll save that for another video. It's gone on too long, and as it speak as we stand, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope that you've enjoyed this. I've taught you through the key levels. I've taught you through my trades. If you want to see more, obviously, every single week we have two members only live streams. One is a live trading stream. One is a theory stream. Tonight we have the theory. On Sunday we got the live practical stream. So we we like to mix and match uh, theoretical and real trading, or you know real real you know. That's what we got. So if you, if you want to learn how to trade tonight, we have a live stream for the contenders and the champions. Sunday, we got a live stream just for the champions. If you're interested in that, you can head over to chartchampions.com and study and learn. If you would like those key updates that I give every day, Monday to Friday, again, that those are the key resistance that I gave there within 0.01%, the key support gave within 0.01%. That's all stuff that we get over in this side of the Discord group. Uh, for everybody else, I hope that you've really enjoyed. I hope that you've learned something. And that really is the takeaway of this video. Make the plan. Stick to the plan. You know, you had your key SR levels in here, support resistance. You had your key, you know, thing of checking your highs across all exchanges and recognizing that the bull trap has not quite happened yet because you had not taken the liquidity across all exchanges. And then you come down to your lows. Again, this low was because that's where everybody had moved their stop loss. So basically, takeaways, trade the plan, make the plan, 
execute the plan. Don't get scared. <laughs> know where everybody else has their stop losses and think to yourself, that's, you know, basically it, it, the market works off of liquidity. That's a high level thing. That's all I'm going to say here. Um, hope you've enjoyed. As always, if you have, smash up the likes. Really appreciate if you give a like to the video. And uh, leave a comment down below if you uh, were happy that we made that video yesterday warning you of the, well, in my opinion, the drop. And obviously, well, it happened. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. And cheers, everybody. Catch you in the next one. Bye.